हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल मैं हूं आपको इनाम खान और मैं हूं आबाज खान उम्मीद करते हैं आप जहाँ भी होंगे और खुश होंगे और खैरियत से होंगे दोस्तों आज की जो वीडियो है वो बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग होने वाली है क्योंकि इससे पहले हमने वीडियो जिस पर हमने रिएक्ट किया था उसमें यही था कि पाकिस्तानी मीडिया पाकिस्तानी पब्लिक का क्या रिएक्शन है चंद्रयान थ्री के बारे में जो अभी अभी सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च कर दिया है इंडिया ने तो उसके बाद हम जो वीडियो बना रहे हैं वो है कि वर्ल्ड का क्या रिएक्शन है वर्ल्ड की पूरी वर्ल्ड की मीडिया का क्या रिएक्शन है चंद्रयान थ्री के बारे में और इंडिया के बारे में सो वीडियो का टाइटल है आइसरो चंद्रयान थ्री वाई इज इट सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर दी वर्ल्ड तो वीडियो देखते हैं फिर वीडियो के एंड में आपको बताएंगे कि हमें वीडियो कैसी लगी आपको कैसी लगी वो आपने कमेंट सेक्शन में बताए सो वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट Sports, the Indian Army, ISRO are three things that easily unite millions of Indians. For many Indians, ISRO is not just a space agency. To them, it represents India's scientific temperament, their country's sky-high ambition, the grand arrival of their nation on the global stage, and the sensational reemergence of an ancient civilization. On the other hand, for many who hate India's rise, ISRO gives them yet another opportunity to release their frustration or hatred against India. Yes, India's moon mission, Chandrayaan-3, has created a lot of buzz outside India and many countries and their media outlets are closely watching the developments and are reacting to it. The article on Russia's state-affiliated media outlet says that India is poised to join the elite grouping of countries that have had successful moon landings. As mentioned here, only three other countries have achieved the complicated feat of soft landing as spacecraft on the moon's surface, the United States, Russia and China. And this article on Nature.com says that a successful landing could also be an important step towards future Indian moon missions and is seen as a demonstration of India's growing geopolitical ambitions. It has been observed that the launch of Chandrayaan-3 is not just a triumph for India, but a triumph for all of humanity. It is important to remember that India's previous attempt to the moon didn't quite achieve what it was supposed to. As far as India's future plans in space are concerned, in 2022, the Global Times, a Chinese state-affiliated media outlet published an article that explained how some Chinese netizens mocked India for laying out such plan out of ambition to compete and win over China. China as far as China. India's China. bankrupt neighbor is concerned, Pervez Hoodboy, who is considered to be a Pakistani intellectual, was wondering in this article if Pakistan can also get a slice of the moon. According to him, that depends upon the quality of Pakistani scientists and if a culture of science develops in Pakistan. This article in France 24 explains the inspiring journey of ISRO and mentioned that in 2014, India became the first Asian nation to put a satellite into orbit around Mars and three years later, the ISRO launched 104 satellites in a single mission. As explained here, Chandrayaan-3 feeds into the global frenzy of sending hardware to the moon, particularly to its South Pole. The upcoming U.S. Artemis crewed missions, China's Chang'e robotic craft and the majority of other governmental as well as private endeavors plan to explore the moon's South Pole, which contains valuable water ice and other resources that could prove crucial for any sustained human lunar presence. Getting to the lunar surface remains risky, however. Three out of the last four landing attempts, including Chandrayaan-2, have failed. India's hopefully successful second try with Chandrayaan-3 will help keep the momentum for the moon going. But it seems that India is destined to become a bigger player. It is aiming big, very big. The New York Times observes that India is developing a spacecraft, Gaganyaan, for taking astronauts to orbit, which is now expected no earlier than 2025. Whoa. CNN explains that in 2014, India became the first Asian nation to reach Mars. Mm -hmm. Three years later, it launched a record 104 satellites in one mission. Then in 2019, Modi announced that India had shot down one of its own satellites in what it claimed was an anti-satellite test, making it one of only four countries to do so. That same year, ISRO's former chairman said India was planning to set up an independent space station by 2030. Currently, the only space stations available for expedition crews are the International Space Station and China's Tiangong Space Station. Mm. And as described here, India's space ambitions do not stop at the Moon or Mars. ISRO has also proposed sending an orbiter to Venus. As far as Chandrayaan-3 is concerned, if you are wondering what its significance is, then consider this. To help with its space exploration development, India joined the Artemis Accords in June. As mentioned here, according to NASA, one of the goals of the Artemis Accords is to make history by sending the first humans to explore the region near the lunar South Pole. 
and a successful landing for Chandrayaan-3, which aims to have its rover explore the moon's south pole, would help further missions with the data and information it gathers from the area. As far as the European Space Agency, ESA, is concerned, it has been mentioned that Chandrayaan-3 is just one of two ISRO missions that ESA will support this summer. Yes, in case you don't know about this, international space flight collaboration is an important aspect. As explained on the European Space Agency's official website, it is because building new giant antennas and control stations around the world is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So, like many space agencies and commercial companies across the globe, ISRO will receive support from the stations of partner organizations instead. Mm -hmm. Not only does this significantly reduce its costs, but it also fosters international spaceflight collaboration. So yes, as it has also been observed by others, in many ways, the success of ISRO is related to the overall success and progress of our global scientific community. See you again! Absolutely, the video is very interesting and the reaction of the whole world has seen in other videos. In this video, the article that was published in this video, many websites have published the article. So, the world will say a lot, but now, the world will say a lot. बिल्कुल अभी उन्होंने जो है सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च कर दिया है तो वो आगे इनका जो है किस्मत है कि क्या होता है लेकिन उम्मीद यही है कि वो मून पर जो है सॉफ्टली लैंडिंग करेगी और सब की उम्मीद इंडिया का कहना है कि यार ये इंसानियत के लिए जो है बहुत आसानियाँ पैदा करेगी मतलब बहुत सारे स्पेस जो है स्पेस एक्स कंपनी बहुत सारी कंपनीज ऐसी है जो इसको सही यूज नहीं करते लेकिन इंडिया का जो एसरो है उनका यही कहना है कि हम अपनी इंसानियत जो है उसके लिए इसको यूज करेंगे जो अच्छा ही है उसके इंडिया को पता है एशियन का सबसे पहले कंट्री है जो मार्स में गई बिल्कुल अभी जो है उन्होंने वो भी कम खर्चे पे बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपेंस उसका बहुत कम था बाकी कंट्री जो है उनका जो बजट बहुत ज़्यादा होता है ना जो उनकी स्पेस कंपनीज होती है उनका बजट बहुत ज़्यादा होता है लेकिन इस तरह जो इंडिया की कंपनी है इनका स्पेस बजट जो है इतना ज़्यादा नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी उन्होंने बहुत सारी इंडिया के लिहाज से जो है वो ज़्यादा है लेकिन बाहर कंट्रीज जो है उसके लिहाज से कम है वही ना बाकी जो कंट्रीज है उनके लिहाज से बजट जो है बहुत कम है सो वीडियो जो है जो हमने अभी वीडियो देखी इसमें तो बहुत मज़ा आया वीडियो देखने का और हम नेक्स्ट वीडियो भी जो है इस पर बनाते रहेंगे जो चंद्रयान थ्री जो है लॉन्च किया इंडिया ने इस पर हम नेक्स्ट भी वीडियोज़ बनाते रहेंगे साथ साथ बताते रहेंगे कि बिल्कुल आगे क्या होने वाला है और अभी क्या हुआ है सो वीडियो अगर आपको अच्छी लगी है तो आपने वीडियो को लाइक करना है और अगर चैनल पर न्यू है तो आपने चैनल को ज़रूर सब्सक्राइब कर देना